Yeah, another battery. Here we go. This one, uh, the in-laws are going to be using, and they had uh, purchased one on Amazon. At the time, I hadn't heard of this company, uh, ReliBat. I think they go by ReliOn, actually, on Amazon. Um, but the specs are great. Lithium iron phosphate battery, 12.8 volt, 200 amp hour, and reasonably priced. Um, I don't know if they're just trying to be different because if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I've got another brand as well. But I think the marketplace is competitive, so it's it's good to shop around. And I thought while I um, have this, I'd throw it up on the bench and kind of give you guys a quick walk around and talk about um, why they went with it and what we're going to do with it. So um, they recently acquired a camper. Uh, and it has a built-in inverter system. It's a 12 volt inverter system. Um, I guess ideally I'd like to see it be 24 or 48 volt ideally, but uh, for this year, since we're already about halfway through our short camping season that we have, we just said, you know what, let's go with this and then we can repurpose this to, to a, a different project at a later time if they decide to uh, upgrade their inverter. But lithium iron phosphate technology has actually been around for quite a while, but it's sort of becoming more popular in the um, higher current draw world uh, also for for solar and in fact as you can see i, I put this out so hard to remember to talk about it uh, but this will be a, an mppt charge controller uh, we're going to hook uh, but they have four solar panels up there this is an auto sensing so um, once i get this uh, up to their camper and get it wired in with the solar that's going to be able to charge this battery and keep it topped off while they're using it and then also while they're not using it. So that's going to be the primary purpose there. Um, these are capable of uh, deep cycling so um, they can uh, you know draw down if you think of deep cycle probably in the marine world uh, the deep cycle batteries are able to uh, get down you know quite low in voltages the nice thing about these speaking of that is uh, all these lithium iron phosphate batteries including this one uh, they do have what's called a bms or a battery management system that bms typically sits on top or on the side and it actually manages each individual cell so inside this battery there's four cells each cell's running at about 3.3 ish volts and then that bms talks to each one of the batteries and um, you know allows it to keep a, a constant state of charge it will actually make sure that they all are equal with each other so that way you don't have any issues with um, you know one battery is taking uh, too much of a charge or uh, you know like so say the first one in the series is doing all the work and these other ones are being lazy the BMS doesn't allow that it makes everybody work equally it charges everyone equally and it constantly monitors it so um, it's also smart in the sense like right here um, you've got my power supply so it's at 14.5 volts and 10.2 amps Now I could dial that back a bit if I wanted to go more towards like 14.4 or uh, you know the typical charge rate being between 14.4 14.2 um, and this is capable of only 10 amps so you can see we're we're at 10.27 amps but the nice thing about this is like I can't force the voltage to go any higher because the BMS isn't going to allow that. So if, if suddenly I threw like I maybe I messed up and I threw 18 volts at this, the BMS inside here is going to intelligently just stop that current and not allow it to harm the battery. Also, when we're or when they're using this battery, maybe there's going to be a situation where they don't have sun for a day or two. Uh, and you know after running the 12 volt lights in the camper and the water pumps and other things um, that um, This battery goes into a deeper state of discharge that BMS will also protect it and not allow the battery to get so low that it damages it so Unlike a traditional deep cycle battery that you may think of for like a boat or the off-grid world that doesn't have a BMS That's where these things really shine because it I mean it's sort of for lack of a better term um, foolproof uh, in the sense that you don't have to spend all your time monitoring it if all of a sudden you know your power shuts off uh, you probably have either a, a low charge maybe a temperature type issue these also have temperature sensors so if it gets too cold um, or too hot that BMS will protect the battery and just shut it down until the the situation can be resolved um, but these things weigh about 50 pounds. They have these nice straps on here, so they are easy to move. Uh, in my in-laws camper, they've got a big tray that slides out, so this guy can sit right in there. Um, posts are clearly labeled, obviously positive, negative, so shouldn't have any issues hooking this up. 
if you are in the off-grid world or you are looking for something for your camper, uh, these are great. And Relyon is coming out with, uh, I actually um, read a news article or a, a blog post or something that they're coming out with some newer style batteries as well. Uh, and they're going to have everything from, you know, 12 to 48 volts. So if you have a, an off-grid system and you're running 48 volts, no worries. They're going to have a 48 volt battery. So keep an eye on them. Good prices, responsive customer service, and that probably going to be another big player in the in the battery game. So, uh, if we have any issues with installation, I'll report it in the comments section. Otherwise, so far for just moving this thing around, I did do one test on it. I have a, a 12 volt uh, inverter here. It's just a, a thousand watt unit, and I did some you know, tests with a thousand watt uh, heater, and obviously the battery didn't have any issue running that at all. Um, so I'll be able to do a full capacity test once this is fully charged and like I said I'll report back if we have any concerns, but so far uh, Been a great battery, and I think it's going to be a big player in the in, in the battery game. So hope you found this helpful